Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. The sun is out and shining um, and the woods are behind me. What a gorgeous day it is. I wanted to talk to you today um, after I listened to a podcast on Rascal Radio. I spend a lot of time doing personal development um, and just really enjoy learning. Um, and today, what my favorite, uh, one of my favorites is Dan Hawkins. And he was talking about align your thinking. And it really got me to thinking um, as I listened to the podcast, how, like he said, our subconscious mind actually controls most of what we do, where our actual conscious mind, we're only conscious of what we're doing just a small portion of the time. Um, most of the time you're on autopilot, you know, um, think of when you're driving into the office or driving to work or driving to the grocery store and you get from point A to point B and you don't really have an idea of how you got there. That's controlled by your subconscious mind. So I was thinking more about everything and clarity of vision. Um, he had said something about, you know, um, having your own clarity of vision and how important it is to narrow down what you really want in your life and then taking those steps, conscious steps, not just steps, but conscious steps to get what you want. So what that led me to thinking more about was everybody needs to clarify their vision. And the only way you can do that is to actually sit down and think about your life and what you really truly want, what your passions are, what is your hot spot? You know, what gets you all excited every day? What pumps you up? What makes you wanna get out of bed? Jump up and down, hip hip hooray. You know, what are those points in your life? And those are hot points for your clarity of vision. So, what are your hot points of clarity for vision? I know personally, I love learning and personal development. That's one of my hot spots. Teaching others how to find their clarity and take those steps towards their clarity, consciously making steps towards that clarity and studying those goal steps. That gives me that's my sweet spot. It just is. I just, those are my sweet spots, um, along with my family and my kids, obviously. So, um, you know, and that's another thing is what I tell people when I'm working with them, and Dan even mentioned it, is acting as if. So if you want to be this, you know, super, super, you know, successful business person, then dress the part, you know, what steps and things would you need to do or look like and act like to be that and take those steps towards that. Um, another thing is using your emotions because, you know, let's face it, things get hard. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. And a lot of times that, how, that makes us sidetrack on what we truly want in our vision. You know, life happens, right? Let's face it. So what I always tell people and what Dan was saying was tying your emotions and your excitement to your clarity of vision and what you really want. So on those really bad, hard days, you know, like doing a YouTube video that you're not used to doing, um, and taking yourself out of that comfort zone and pushing yourself, um, do it, totally. What is the end goal that will make you still so excited that you're willing to do anything you need to in order to achieve that clarity of vision that you want? That's, you know, 
in a nutshell, basically what it is, create the life you want. And the only way you can do that is getting out of your comfort zone, setting that plan, you know, doing the things that make you uncomfortable and having the people behind you that will push you to help you succeed. So we're going to be doing face or YouTube lives every day at two o'clock. So please come on out and join us. Talk to you guys soon. See you next Tuesday.